Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. I'm Jen and this is Farabee. Today, um, we're gonna open up Farabee's Rec Specs. So this is not something they sent us. I purchased this with my own money and um, I just really wanted her to have them. We have doggles and I love them, but there's a lot of hype around Rec Specs. So I wanted to give them a try. Um, she wears her sunglasses pretty much any day that it's sunny and we go outside, which is every day that it's sunny. Um, so yeah, we're gonna open it up. And she knows it's for her. <laughs> but of course, she doesn't know what it is. So we ordered the medium. Uh, I got the medium based on the size chart that they had where you measure around their head and their muzzle as well. Yeah, let's not mess with that. That's not part of it. Here, she thinks the box down there is part of it. And it's not. Come on, this is the part. This is what's exciting. Yeah. And I did order the black ones with the red mirror frame. Let's try not to destroy our box in case they don't fit, okay? I like that these are kind of more industrial too. Um, it's from all the reviews and the reason that I've read, it seems like they're going to be more like a hearty, you know, like long lasting sunglasses. And you can replace the lenses, which she's so used to wearing sunglasses that she doesn't really do anything, you know, to where there would be damage. Um, so it comes in a case like this. So it's a drawstring case. And she is so excited. She's <laughs> she realizes what it is. So in here, there's actually two separate compartments. So there's the compartment that has the actual sunglasses and this is what they look like. Um, and then there is another flat part, if you can see up here, where you can put other lenses. So it did come with the, it's the red mirror, which is basically a rainbow. And like I said, you can't order replacement lenses. I think they also have, please don't, uh-uh, no, 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 no. I think they also have um, like little lens covers where you can make it be pretty too. So this is what we got. I really was looking at these for a while and I wanted purple. They don't make purple. Um, and so I just figured I'll get black. And if we absolutely love it and you know, we want to be dazzle or something, we can. So anyways, we are going to put them on her. All right, so first impressions for me before I even put them on here, I just want to say, so it seems like it's gonna fit better than the doggles. That's exciting that it's gonna fit better than the doggles and hopefully stay on her face better than the doggles, but the doggles are cuter. So there's that. Um, it has a vented area up here, which is really cool. So there's uh, you know a way to get wind in there, but not particles because it's actually like, I don't know if you can tell, but it's like a mesh type stuff up there. And yeah. So, oh, and cool, it has, a, it has a clip. That's awesome. And we probably could actually read instructions to see how they fit, but we're, we're just gonna go for it. And then, wait, you gotta put your face on there. Oh yeah. Oh wow, that's gonna be way better. Okay, I can already tell it's gonna be way better. Let's see. And this one must go on the back of your head. And I like this better for her poodle hair, actually, because it does have a, a clip and I can clip it in between one of her ponytails. So that's cool. All right, let me see you. Let me look. How's it fit? Does it do good? Yeah? That looks nice. That's weird fancy. Okay, so I like that it has a clear lens. Um, I don't know, is the clear lens UV protectant or not? I'm not even sure. And they fit her perfect right out of the box, as you saw. So I'm not sure if the clear lens is actually like a UV protectant thing or not. I'm not really sure. I think it might be, um, but either way, because it would make sense for it to be, but it's definitely dust protecting. So that's awesome. And I think it fit her right out of the box pretty good. We'll probably adjust this part a little bit just to make it be maybe just a little bit tighter if it's possible to be. But I like how they fit her. I think that's gonna be really good because the problem that, the only problem we have with doggles is that sometimes like if she um, rubs her face for whatever reason on something or just you know has an itch and scratches, sometimes it'll pull one of the doggles, the eye part over and it will actually like cause it to like touch her, I don't know, not her actual eyeball, but like, you know, get like that on her eye. 
so that can't be comfortable. So, yeah, I mean, that's the only gripe that I have with doggles. Now, price-wise, these are about $80 uh, US after everything is said and done, where doggles are like 25. So, you know, doggles are definitely a good place to start, I would say, and just see if you are gonna use sunglasses for your dog, see if your dog doesn't mind something on its face or not, I don't know. Um, you know, if you don't have the money to buy Rex Specs, obviously doggles are a really good alternative. Um, but with that being said, I can just tell from this that these are like a way better product. So this is gonna probably be something she'll have forever. I don't really envision how this is made, like getting in her eye. There doesn't seem to be a way for it to actually like touch her eyeball in any way, which I really like. Um, so yeah, first impressions, I love it. I'll definitely do an update and let you guys know how I feel about it. Um, if you are interested in Rex Specs, you can get them at rexspecs.com. Um, and it is spelled like that, R-E-X-S-P-E-C-S.com. Um, and if you're interested in doggles, there is a link in her bio, um, in her link tree. We do have an affiliate link for them. So if you, you know, if you use that, if you want to try doggles out, definitely use our affiliate link. It doesn't cost you anything extra to do that. It's just, you know, gives us a little kickback. Um, but we do not have an affiliate link for Rex Specs. So, you know, yeah, so there's that. But I would say she doesn't hate them. Um, you know, you don't hate them, do you? You're okay? She's like, these look weird. <laughs> You can't see what they look like, but they do kind of look funny. And I think I'll need to adjust them a little bit. Just like I said, they're a little bit loose, uh, but I mean, I put it on or right out of the box. So for it to even fit like this close to perfect out of the box, I'm happy with it. And if you're a person who has a poodle, or probably any dog, but a poodle particular, whenever you have all of these hair things going on right here, you can actually clip this in here. Instead, the other way, we like wreck her hair. So, I don't know how to change the lenses and I probably should actually read instructions on that. So it doesn't tell you how to change the lens, so I'm gonna actually have to look online and find out about that. Uh, yeah, I mean, judging from the way that the lens is actually constructed though, I think I'm gonna have to take something off to do that because it looks like, you know, it's not just gonna like pop on and off. With the dog wheels, they actually slide out the top and it's a very clear way to do that. So this is gonna take a little bit of effort to do this, which is fine with me. No complaints there. So anyways, this is Farabee's unboxing of Rex Specs, and I hope you guys at least found this enjoyable. <laughs> um, I will do a comparison video as well. That would be something fun for us to do of Rex Specs and doggles after she's had uh, the Rex Specs for a little while, so look out for that. But we hope you're doing well, and we will talk to you soon. Bye guys. My ferret's cooler than me.